mean, every way is dangerous. City's dangerous, Brooklyn's dangerous, you know. Saudi Arabia's dangerous. <laughs> Not to scare you, but this is John Gotti's burial ground. They found several bodies in this yard. They found seven across the street, four on the corner, about 13 over here in that mall. Yeah, they stopped that project last summer because they found bone fragments. So that was on stop for a little while. Are you talking about the bodies over there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Gotti, Gotti. Back in the 80s, they used to call on here like the dip or the dig. Because basically it was like a refuge area they used to like dump dirt all kind of stuff drunk cars yeah i lived here about seven years already yeah it, it looks like a country area it's the hole it's the lowest part of, of brooklyn right now we're below sea level here because it's down you know like down the deep if you came down here it was for two things business or someone was dying i chose the hole because it's it's a place where nobody would want to come it's a dangerous place to be I feel comfortable here. This used to be like this area, and now they have houses. So, you know, people down here have their own septical tanks. Whoever lives here and owns here, you just stuck with whatever you have. There is no sewer thing. There is no sewer. So when all the water comes down here, the reason why the water gathers up, people put like pumps in their house and stuff. So all the water they pump out in the streets, all the water comes down. It gets flooded out. If you have a robot, it would be easy to go through. It would call everybody, the city, everybody, they haven't done anything. I've been here 10 years and every time it rains, it gets worse. But worse, the whole gets drained. Politicians, we send letters, the landlords send letters. With the sanitation, they, you know, we're not coming through here because we can't get through here because too much water and DEP or whoever it is supposed to take, drain the water, they don't do it. We'll send somebody over there, that somebody comes, they look, and do nothing. Sanitation trucks don't come through anywhere, so they don't give a shit. I got snowblowers and shit. We got machinery, so I, I got a bobcat also. So when it gets bad like that, what I do is I just jump in the bobcat and just go around the blocks. I stay in here. I stay down here, though. I hook them up. I hook everybody up. The school buses, they, they, I got stuck one time on the snow and the guy came, the guys came over and they helped me pull, pull my vehicle out. Life's been kind of okay for us. Now, 